Oh, me oh my. There's never going to be a dull moment. That much we can be certain. Again, bring back Satch form, especially against any electrical themed enemies, has paramount importance, especially in that context. And back on the road. Holy Blade, don't think we have any reason to. Probably shouldn't actually go statue form against the uh, Earth Elemental buddies here. I mean, as long as we have other enemies by our side, they're not going to be doing any of their LRD shenanigans, but still very much against the general thrust of what you want to do in the game. And while we have the mark on us, I think we will stick around for at least the slightest bit here. Try to pull some friends in. Um, and every single encounter is getting us a little bit closer to death than I like. I guess at the end of last session there was the comment of how I kept saying that we were breezing through without a care in the world, when really we were, on multiple occasions, just inches away from a horrible death. So, you know, just trying to keep in the, the same general theme of things here, really, at the end of the day. Okay, we can at least get into a bit of a corridor, slightly safer. Though still not quite going as ideally as I hope. Specifically, we're just not taking out enemies as quickly as I would like in order to uh, ensure that we're remaining in one piece. Potentially what we need to do is take full advantage of our entire kit. So I'm gonna bring out the good old freezing cloud there, just get a little bit of that action going on, and then otherwise not too shabby here. And beautiful, hopefully. Oh, not quite all of the, the friends we've attracted, but hopefully getting a little bit closer here. Yikes, yikes, yikes. And there we go. Perfect. Last enemy taking a few more hits than I would have liked for sure, but not the end of the world by any means. Visited family in the mountains. Awesome. Well, I hope you had a fantastic time. Only the most skilled can ride the razor's edge. Exactly. And that's definitely what it is. Totally skill. And not at all just living in blissful ignorance here. But okie dokie. That will most likely be the majority of the floor. Cleared just because of all the attention that we drew to the stairwells. Oh, hello. Oh, not my bunny up friend. Never mind. Just pretending to be the, the cutest of seal boys there, gaining our trust, and by gosh, it almost worked. And Bone Dragon doesn't go too poorly. But every single encounter... I don't know, when an encounter against a single enemy at this stage in the game still gets you feeling that uh, close to the edge, it's probably not a great sign. But hey something to to think about here and just play it a little on the safe side if at all possible and i'm sure we'll be just fine and there we go found our entrance to zot finally finished clearing through depths and besides a few near-death experience going through the majority of our consumables and a general feeling of uncertainty uh we're doing great you know as long as we can ignore all those so I guess it's time for third room, and I'm feeling like slime is probably going to be our best bet for that. Still have crypt available as well if we want a bit more experience before we take the plunge into Zot here. Let's see, when I go statue form, I lose my resistance to corrosion. So where is that coming from? That's coming from our body armor. I think we had a ring that gave resist corrosion and then we threw it away when it was no longer necessary. Or rather, right, it was the cloak that I'm thinking about. Ooh, 
but Enchantress scales. Probably going to be the way we want to go here. Reduce our encumbrance a lot while also increasing our armor class. I like that. Means we can feel a little bit safer about sitting here in our, our naked form. 19 AC is not too, too bad. It's like good for a caster, pretty rough for a very hybrid character like we've been playing up until now. But not the end of the world. Can at least head up towards slime and then we can play our cards from there, you know, play by ear and see how we feel. We get into a lot of corrosive enemies, which I mean likely to see a few at the very least. Sometimes lose our temper in combat. Took a few more mutations there as well. Loses the ability to drink potions and armor fits poorly. Oh, well, that's what we need when we've just finally, after so much time, got our feet under us from an armor perspective. Part of that just goes right out the window. I don't think any of these are too, too bad. Berserkitis is probably the worst for us just because it very much can put you into a spot of, ah, there's nothing I can do but keep swinging and hope that it all works out. Which, you know, when I say it out loud, just sounds like my strategy the majority of the time. But we'll bring our friends along here and they have to kind of walk through our dangerous clouds. It's one of the nice things about the uh, Boz Law effect is that it can definitely save you some trouble just in terms of preventing enemies from following in step with you when there's a cloud in their way. Their own self-preservation will uh, cause them to fortunately have to play that a little bit safer. And that lack of corrosion resistance definitely coming in for force there. I think what we have to do is head up specifically for this corrosion resistance ring. I mean, we do have an exchangeable slot. We don't need fire resistance at all in slime, I don't think. So might as well swap that bad boy off right away here. And let's see if that helps us fare a little bit better. We do still have a shining eye now waiting for us at the bottom of our initial stairwell here so let's see what other fun mutations we get coming our way and rock slimes actually not feeling too bad but our ability to deal with fortunately the heavy brand doing a decent amount of the heavy lifting there beautiful if nothing else i do like that the Heavy Brand at least gives an alternative to Vorpal. I feel like at the late stages of the game, you pretty much always want a Vorpal branded weapon because so many enemies have just a, a slew of ways to get around elemental damage. Okay, we're gonna call some friends. He's immediately getting shoved off the stairs into the corrosive ooze is not the greatest way to introduce ourselves to the floor here. But fortunately, with a lot of those elementals at our side, not too shabby here. Do have a whole lot of mutations being leveled our way. Vulnerable to cold, even more berserkitis. Ooh, gosh. Spells easier to cast, a little less powerful. Actually kind of nice, I wouldn't mind keeping that one. Losing the ability to read scrolls when taking damage, however. Not so much. We only have three mutation potions. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, and then I drank one of my very few resistance instead. <laughs> oh, just on a roll so far here. Body shape seems normal, no longer vulnerable. Get some scales. Still just uncontrollable temper. Very angry boy. Oh, me oh my. One potion left. We still have inability to read, inability to drink. And both stacks, I think we have Berserkitis too. Yes, we do. Fantastic. 
Oh, me oh my. Hmm, and this is just a precursor. I mean, it's gonna just be worse when we're dealing with orbs of fire coming down and raining mutations on our heads, so... Probably gonna be in for a bit of a rough ride for the last leg of the journey here. I guess for now, we'll keep going through here and just see how things are looking. Oh, I guess we are pretty much at the end of it. Maybe bold to assume at this stage, let's make it through a few more couple more floors here, a few more waves of enemies before we make any bold claims as to anything along those lines. And there we go. I don't know why we took so much damage there when we have the corrosion resistance and only minus four corrosion, so all things considered. Not too much terrible going on whatsoever. Have I just not been picking up boomerangs, or has this somehow been a boomerang-free game? Let's take a peek. It might have been one of the things we dropped early on, thinking that we weren't going to be using them. Oh, potentially is. So now that we're training a bit of throwing, for this very configuration, I would like to have something to do that allows me to stay on the stairs while dealing with our, our friend as they approach. So let's take a look. Yeah, we'll head out for some boomerang action here. I don't see a problem with that. We'll get rid of our willpower ring at this stage. And then we can just start slowly but surely making our way throughout the entirety of the dungeon for all these sun's guns that we left behind, shall we? And we're hoping to get a decent collection going. Maybe a few stacks here in Orc would save us some some bouncing around, save us some time, so that would be just lovely. And the last boomerang. Okie dokie, well two boomerangs definitely is not too bad, all things considered. Oh. Hello, Dissolution. Let's take you upstairs, my friend. Fortunately, I'm hoping the power of the storm does a decent amount of work, and so far it does seem to be the case. Hit quite a few times, of course. Don't have great armor. Bane, if I should go with a disaster area, or if I can maybe just let loose with some tremor stones. I mean, even just swinging at you, only a 5% chance to evade, and we do have pretty heavy damage. So at the risk of immediately dying there, we take our one final swing. Jeez Louise, then you're hitting quite a bit worse than I thought. Twice for 12 each, and then hit twice for 45 cold. We have two pips of cold resistance. So I wouldn't think we'd be taking quite so much damage. I don't even know. Can you blind a jelly now that I think about it? I don't know how the, the physics of that work out. Now the 25 health. Oh, because again, lost my statue form sometime in the, the shuffle there. That makes sense. Fear is a 64% chance of affecting you, so that's not quite good enough. What we could do is irradiate, and chances are you will go down to that. 3d20. Oh, but do I dare. Fortunately, I think we're just gonna have to play this as safe as we possibly can. It's been a, a rough start to the session here to say the least largely due to my own forgetfulness and shortcomings of course but you know that's something that's pretty consistent across all of our sessions so can't imagine it does uh, too much additional negative work on us here okay cannot use scrolls or potions that's fine 
start with just a big old blast and then try to take perfect just our stone friend upstairs and you're just 50 on you friends as long as we don't roll too poorly that should work out perfectly you saw how to explore to try to just expedite the healing process but definitely don't want to actually head off anywhere quite at this time and, you know, I thought we'd be making enough noise here that the Royal Jelly would just immediately become aware of our existence. But I'll probably, I've probably given up just slightly too soon. And suddenly, our royal friend is going to come out of the woodwork, ready to, to make things interesting here, at the very least. Go with Tremor Stones to just deal a decent amount of damage to the, the slimes. And in fact, I think I'm willing to run that again. Maybe I shouldn't have, but here we are. And then this should basically kill everything. Beautiful. Just no Royal Jelly, please. Oh, I'm not ready for you, friend. So we'll just beat a hasty retreat. And then is it time? have a, a bit of piety so you know we can definitely ride the storm here a little bit oh me oh my have magic mirror no more tremor stones well no time like the present we're gonna haste going to elemental force to actually bring in some friends first in fact box of beasts can also join the party here and then i'm already taking more damage than that like corrosion down to minus eight is this already a reset kind of afraid that it might have to be don't want to just because we've expended some resources just to get here specifically that haste potion is really hard to replace but hey rather be safe than sorry we'll try to you know play as consistently as we're able to here if at all possible and here we go now is finally a chance for us to experiment with the, the boomerangs that we went through all the trouble of picking up. They're not great, but not too, too bad either, at the end of the day. I just need to remember that I have a radiate at my disposal, because it is super useful for just taking care of these buddies as we start to get a little more surrounded than we would otherwise like. 